Hey, how's it going guys? It's your retro future boy, Ricky Summer here. And today I've come back in time to show you an ENB and a couple of mods that have completely revolutionized the Fallout 4 experience for me. This video brought to you by Chrome Stallions, Armored Mercenary Company. No job is too big. So I'll be honest, Fallout 76 has broken me. <laughs> it really has. I gave it the old college try and I do stand by the positive things I said about it during the beta period. But now that it's in full release, <laughs> yeah, right, full release, uh, the, the state of the game currently and how it runs on my system, uh, there, there are just too many game breaking bugs. I can't do it. I tried to stick with it for the sake of making some entertaining videos. I can't do it. It's it's too it's too much. It's, it's just, there's no fun in there for me. So I've refunded the game. Take that, Bethesda. Uh, but look, on the bright side, it's given me a renewed interest in Fallout 4, and I'm excited to get back into the game and maybe install some mods that I haven't played before, or some mod combinations that I haven't tried before. So if you've got some mod suggestions, you know stuff you think I might like, throw them in the description. In the description? No, that's where I put things, buddy. <laughs> throw them in the comments. Uh, and I'm happy to check them out. But for the moment, let's have a look at what you're seeing on screen right now. So this is 8.0 Retro ENB. As you can see, it adds this uh, this uh, CRT overlay and it adds like VHS CRT effects. And it's it's beautiful. This is what I've always wanted. Oh, dude. I think it came out in uh, August of this year. I'm surprised it's taken me this long to find it. This is the dream. I've been I've been <laughs> waiting for something like this for Fallout 4 for so long. So thank you so much, Trey M, for making this and releasing this. You made me a very happy man. So the mod requires NAC, Natural Atmospheric Commonwealth, and it also requires uh, it requires that you turn off the the game's anti-aliasing because the EMB has its own anti-aliasing. That's fine. Uh, there's also a couple other mods that I'd like to talk about that fix up some immersion breaking issues, not with the with the EMB itself, but rather with Fallout 4 and how it interacts with the EMB. But for the moment, let's just have a look at uh, the options available to us in the uh, 80 retro EMB. Okay, so let's just look at some of the major presets here. So enable uh, VCR effects. Hey, listen, we need to turn those on. <laughs> let's not get crazy here. So you might be able to notice, it's a real subtle, right there, we're talking RGB separation, dude. My, I, I wish the world would had RGB separation. It's just an effect, I'm, I'm just so into it. <laughs> I got some deep, like deep-seated issues vis-a-vis RGB separation. Okay, let's make sure that all the all the presets here are, are, are on, right? Uh, okay, so we can actually change the tape type here. So this is the default. It's kind of drab and washed out. That's fine. Then we have one that has you know ups the saturation. This is my this is my preferred uh, tape type preset here because to me it it emphasizes the RGB separation uh, more than the others, and it just it just gives me that uh, that old VHS bleeding colors vibe and I love it. We've also got uh, this semi, I suppose, semi sepia kind of uh, effect here. This sort of blue affair and then like bleach teal, <laughs> which is also kind of cool. I don't hate that, but uh, yeah, I, I prefer that second one. Okay, we can also just turn off the tape distortion, right? If you want a clean image without the wiggly lines, you can do that. But listen, we're going the whole hog here. You can also change the strength of these if you want. Hang on. Let's, uh, let's use this. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> That's my jam, dude. We're just gonna leave it at default for the moment. And you can change the distortion type, right? Oh, so we're like really, oh man, the RGB separation though. <laughs> it's doing it for me. <laughs> oh yeah, let's go, let's go the whole hog. Oh dude, I need the whole hog right now. <laughs> You can also turn on uh, VCR dirty hair noise and tracking noise. Where's, hang on. Where's the tracking noise showing up? Oh, it's right at the bottom. Oh, okay, hang on. Do you see right at the bottom there? No, it's going across, down the whole screen. It's just, it just shows up more. Hang on, let's, let's look at, is it like randomized or something? It's subtle. I love it. That's really, yeah, there we go. That's really nice. I'm into that. <laughs> oh, okay. Uh, enable VC. This is really cool. So you've also got this overlay <laughs> that adds, uh, adds a play marker. 
You can also have, uh, you can put on rewind, fast forward, auto calibration, stop, and the FBI warning. I mean, why? Why do you need the FBI warning here? You don't. But it's included anyway, and I love that. I love that that's included. We're going to turn that off for the moment, though. Okay. So, you can also just straight up turn off the CRT effects. If you just want 4x3, give me VHS, 4x3, let us go, right? You can do that if you want. And if you're, like, saying, if, you, if you're one of these people that are like, hey, dude, seriously, you got to limit your game to 4x3 on a 16x9 monitor? All right, fine. If you're one of those people you hate fun, I understand. We can turn that off and you can play proper 16x9. It's fine. We're still, we're still maintaining the effects if you're into that. You can also do this uh, this letterbox sort of ordeal for like a... I mean, it crops it. <laughs> you understand? But I, I, it's, I guess it's like a, a faux 21x9, huh? Or thereabouts. Sure. Why not? If you're into that. I actually don't mind that. Like if you confine the UI to uh, just the black bars at the top and bottom. I can deal with that. It's filmic. It's nice. But that's not why we're here. We're here for full uh, for full CTR effects, my dog. <laughs> it's a beautiful thing. Okay, so that's that's kind of the long and the short of it vis-a-vis -vis post-processing. I'm loving the look of it. It's feeling very nice. So now let's look at the additional mods that I personally recommend to fix up a couple of issues. So first and foremost, by default, when you pull up the Pip-Boy uh, with this ENB, the the default uh, depth of field in the game will actually show through the the TV overlay, and it, it just it just ruins it for me. So you'll have you know blur above the uh, the Pip-Boy and along the arm uh, on the side here, so you actually see the outline of the arm and then above that blurred over the overlay. It's it was it was ruining it for me, my dog. Because I mean, how often do you open your Pip Boy while playing uh, Fallout 4? Quite often, right? So I was trying to I was hunting down a, a way to, to shut off the depth of field. Ideally, I'd want to keep the depth of field while playing and just like turn it off when you open the uh, the Pip Boy. But as far as I can tell, I don't think there's a way to do that. Maybe you would need a specific mod that just turns off depth of depth of field while you've got the Pip Boy open. I don't know. I'm not a modder, but I'm using depth of field removal. Why am I using a mod? Well, you can go into your INI and, and turn off the depth of field, uh, I suppose, manually like that. But supposedly, when you do that, when you when you then go underwater, you lose all the underwater effects. So let me just find some water here, and I can show you some examples. Uh, so in order to maintain the uh, the effects underwater you have to use this mod depth of field removal by D A O W ACE and that removes depth of depth of field but presumably keeps it when you go underwater so let me uh, go underwater here the only issue with that is then when you do go underwater it actually spills out of the monitor and into your living room so <laughs> that's that's the trade off there you know that's that's the trade off but uh, i think i would rather have this effect than maybe you know, have, just be able to see completely clearly underwater. I mean, it's, it's, yeah, look, it's not great, but the way it's kind of, the way it comes out, it almost looks like it is actually spilling out of your, <laughs> especially when, when you go like fully underwater there, the water isn't quite deep enough, but it, it kind of does look like it's, it's spilling out of your TV. And I, and I kind of like that. That's okay. I mean, how often do you go underwater in game, right? How often? Uh, okay, so depth of field removal I found very important. And there's links to all these in the, in the description, make no mistake. Uh, I'd also like to note that I'm personally using the performance preset of the 8.0 Retro EMB, and I'm very happy with it. I'm, you know, for the most part getting anywhere between 50 and 60, which for Fallout 4, <laughs> using an EMB as well, I think that's, that's, that's perfect, man. You know, that's... Uh, you're doing very well. You're doing very well. Oh man, that, the RGB separation though. Look at that. The, the like, there's. Hang on. The yellow. Oh, I'm into it. I'm into it. Okay, there's. <laughs> there's one more thing I did. Uh, one more issue we need to fix, and that's the UI. So like, let's let's address the element elephant in the room right now. What the hell is going on with the UI right now? It's kind of slanted. It's 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 all bunched up. So this was an interesting issue. The UI, 
obviously is going to come over the, uh, the, the monitor overlay. So it's popping out and I can actually show you an example of that. Um, cause there's one aspect of the, of the UI that I wasn't able to fix and that's the workshop mode. So the bottom actually works perfectly, but the top, as you can see, it comes over the top of the TV overlay. And that was the case with our health and AP and, and that kind of stuff by default. So what, what is an 80s obsessed bastard to do? Well, I'll tell you. So I got Def UI. I got Def UI and I tried to find a preset that would, while maintaining the 16 by nine aspect ratio, confine the UI to four by three. And as far as I'm aware, it just doesn't exist because it's a crazy, uh, it's a crazy combination, right? So if you're like, we're in, we're in 16 by nine, we're just artificially cropping. So it looks like it's in four by three. So there are actually four by three aspect ratio presets for deaf UI. But when you use them, when you're actually playing in 16 by nine, it just stretches things so they don't work. So I did actually have to create my own deaf UI preset. Uh, and I will put a link to that in the description. I've never actually shared something like that before. So I'm assuming I'm, I'm it's going to be a Google Drive link, but we'll see how we go. Okay, hang on. I don't want that on though. Beautiful. Okay. So what I've done is I've made uh, almost everything smaller. Let's just target dog there for a second. So at the top, you can see you've got the, uh, the enemy health and you've got the crit meter right underneath it. I felt like the right place to put it. It feels right. It feels right. So I've, I've made a lot of, a lot of everything smaller. I've taken out a couple of things that I think are mostly not necessary. Uh, and I've, you, you may notice that I've, I've slanted, I've tilted, I've rotated some aspects of the UI so that it looks like it's bending around the, the, the bend of the screen. You know how old, uh, old TVs, CRT monitors, they kind of, they, they're not flat, you know, there's a reason we call the monitors we use flat screens because before them, they were not flat. Uh, it has that kind of bend, that bubble. So I've, I've changed the UI to kind of bend around that to see, try and simulate that. And you know what, for the most part, I think it works. I'm, I'm very pleased with it. Ooh, <laughs> I'm very excited. So there you go. That's, that's the long and the short of it. I, I don't ever want to play any other way right now. It's, uh, or, or ever again. It's beautiful. This is, this is exactly what I've always wanted from, from Fallout 4 and now I have it. And I just, I just feel complete as a human being, you know, I just feel complete. I'm a, I'm a very happy chappy. <laughs> oh man. The effects, the effects. So there you go. Um, you know, it's 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 all it's f fairly seamless. The only issues that you kind of have to throw out of your put out of your mind is when you go underwater. You know, your your living room's going to fill up, and of course, when you go into vats, you got issues like that. I personally haven't been able to find a way to get rid of the um, the the button prompts for workshop mode and and vats. But hey, if you know a way, let me know in the comments down below. I'm, I'm uh, <laughs> I'll be very grateful, but all the links are in the description. Let me know what you think, guys. Is this, have you been looking for something like this? Are you as excited as I am? Am I crazy for wanting to combine my beautiful 16 by nine aspect ratio to four by three for the sake of nostalgia? Maybe I am crazy. Maybe you have to be a little bit crazy to appreciate something like this. But if loving this is wrong, I don't want to be right. I don't want to be right. But for the moment, guys, thank you very much for watching. Taste the game. Be excellent to each other. If you liked the video, throw up a like. If you, if you hated it with every fiber of your being, dislike it, buddy. Let's go. <laughs> Taste the game. Be excellent to each other. And I'll see you next time. Ricky Summer, out.